welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new, welcome. If you already subscribed, hello and welcome back. Um, so I am going to be doing a two-day vlog for this weekend. Um, Simon's picked us up from work and we are travelling down to Ashbourne, which is taking around about three hours to get to. And on Saturday we're going to Eastwood to his dad's for Father's Day. Um, we've gotten him a little present, but I'm not going to say because um, Helen's watching this. Um, but yeah, so we're heading down there now. We should be around about four o'clock by the time we get there. Um, we've been on the road, what, an hour? We've been on the road around about an hour now. I do a little pit stop because I didn't get any water from after work. Um, since I went picked it up from work. So we're on the road at the minute. So we've got two hours and nine minutes to go. Um, we've got the dog in the back. Now we see one case and stuff there for the weekend. Um, I've got an outfit on at the minute, but you can't really see because I am sitting down in the car. But I'll show you when we get to Ashbourne. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you around Ashbourne as well, what it's like. It looks a bit like Yorkshire, like the streets and stuff. It's really nice. And what I'll do is I'll let you know what the prices are like for a beer and wine and stuff like that when we get there. Um, and also I'll do the same on Saturday as well when we go out. But I'll keep these updated. This is the road at the minute. So yeah. Okay, so we have reached Ashbourne. I've had to change top due to the weather conditions. The weather has spiked up since we've left Newcastle. Newcastle is 24 degrees. Now it is 30 degree heat. Um, I'm pleased I packed this um, bodysuit. Um, I've got the skirt on. I've got this from Marks and Spencer yesterday in the clearance section, which is very good. Um, so at the Black Horse at the minute, um, just waiting for it to open. We thought it was already open. Um, thought we can go in and get a drink, but unfortunately, it's not open, so we need to wait until five o'clock. It's open from 12 to 3, and then from 12 to 3, it's open from 5 to 11. So we need to wait until that. So we're just waiting patient outside with the dogs, and then obviously, Simon's just there sitting on the bench. So we're just waiting at the minute to get a drink, but the, I'm not complaining about the weather at all. It's like Mexico weather. I'm loving it, yeah. It's so warm. Um, over that way, it's like full of like, just like countryside and you've got like bungalows down that way. It's where Helen lives, just the, to the, to my left sort of thing. But yeah, we're just waiting for her to finish what she's doing and come here and have a drink. Um, I've had to tie my hair back up as well because I am melting, even though I've straightened it this morning. Um, that's how to get put up. Um, yeah, um, I'll catch us later and I'll let you know what the prices are like here for the drinks. I'm going to try and order myself a Pinot Grigio and Simon will probably order himself a beer and we'll let you know what the prices are like here and then recommend what it's like drink wise, if it tastes nice and stuff like that. But we'll, we'll let you know. Okay, guys, so I've just been to the bar. The bar just opened um, just after five. So I've ordered myself a large Pinot Grigio, which is this, and this was £4.55 at the, the Black Horse Inn, and Simon got a Carlin, and that was £3.90. That came to £8.45 altogether. Really? Come on. So yeah, not too bad, considering uh, really? where we are, where the pub is. Yeah, so it's, okay. quite, it's generally what it, you would pay no. back home. on the prices so a pint of Carlin was £3.90 and a, pint, um, a glass of Pinot Grigio was £4.55. Now the Pinot Grigio was a standard size you just get it in a small little bottle but they still charge you £4.55. Regardless of how small it was if small need or large they still charge you £4.55 and a pint of Diet Coke was 
£3.25 and a bag of like pork scratchings, whatever, were £1.25 a bag. Um, some places back home in Newcastle normally charge around about 90 pence, 70 pence for a bag of pork scratchings, depending on where you go. Um, but the place that we went last night was the Black Horse Inn in Ashbourne. And yeah, the place inside was quite small and dainty. Outside they had facilities for your dogs. If you take your dogs, they've got water facilities and also they had free treats inside. So yeah, so we, we just stayed in last night, had a few drinks in the house rather than going out. So we're on way to Simon's Grand at the minute, but like four minutes away, I think, now. Um, and then after that, we're going to go down to Sam's dad's, get ready and go out in Eastwood. Hi guys, just a quick update. So um, on Saturday, we and me and Simon were out um, down Eastwood, um, but I didn't vlog that much and I didn't vlog how much things were and stuff like that. So from the Pick and Davy, we went from the Pick and Davy to the Wellington Inn, that's in Eastwood in, Not in Nottingham. So the, when, when we got there, there was hardly anyone in, there was just another bloke and obviously us. I went to the toilet, my partner had ordered, tried to order me a drink, but unfortunately, they didn't serve them because they thought I was underage, so I had to ID, which is standard procedure, really. Um, they thought I was younger than what I was, so they didn't serve Simon, they only served him and not me, until I showed them ID. Um, we were in there, the table was dirty, like, like, sticky, it looked like it hadn't been cleaned, but the staff were just standing around doing anything, so I was thinking, well, they could just, just clean the table, but no, the tab table was not cleaned, it was sticky. Um, there's still blue roll on the table. Um, my cup that my piano grigio was in was dirty around the top bit and obviously the bottom bit. I don't know if it was, had been washed or not dried properly, but my cup was dirty. And yeah, just like the whole place was not very nice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go back um, 
to the Wellington Inn. After the Wellington Inn, we went to the Lady Chatney. So the Lady Chatney is a Weatherspoons in Eastwood. It was really good in there. And my partner managed to get myself a drink in there, along with the water, which is quite good. The toilets in Lady Chatney, if anyone wants to know that, the toilets are upstairs. Um, after that, we went to the Dog and Parrot. Dog and Parrot is like a forces pub sort of thing. They've got like loads of like, um, army stuff, navy stuff, air force stuff are all over the walls and um, toilets in there are very small and like, small and compact they're a bit like a mcdonald's toilet but cleaner if that makes sense um, but yeah they were really nice in there really friendly and all, all overall really the drinks average from between £8 and £9 for two drinks for two people depending on what you get I was just having wine and gins so they were really nice. The gins I really liked are really good because they tasted like like sweethearts, like like love hearts that used to get as a kid. They tasted like that, two gins that I had. The gins that tasted like that were in the dog and parrot and the sun in. They really tasted so nice. Um, so the sun in, we went in there. We stayed in there for like two drinks. Um, obviously they had, I don't know what it was, it was like a party. Like, like a mini disco that had like the karaoke on, which is good. I managed to sing a few songs. <laughs> um, but after that, we went into Oliver's. Um, Simon um, checked what time Oliver's actually shut, but it was meant to shut at one, but it didn't shut at one. So it shut at like two in the morning, which was good. So we managed to stay for a bit longer. Um, the drinks that we drank in Oliver's was um, red stripe so if anyone doesn't know what red stripe is red stripe is a Jamaican beer and that was really nice I just drank half because I was half cut by the time we got into there and I wanted to stay out until most of the night and I managed to stay out until most of the night but my partner had pints of it and it was really tasty like if I wanted to go back to the bar for more um, the toilets however I ran out of to toilet roll and some of them and there was only two toilets in all of us for the females and that's it just two toilets in a long mirror um but yeah toilets are a bit of a downer but the place inside all of us is like really good you can have food there as well so it's an all-rounder pub sort of like bar slash club sort of thing and you didn't normally in them sort of places you have to pay to get in but we didn't pay anything to get in at all so if you are going to Eastwood and Nottingham you don't have to pay to get in um, but I did get ID to get in but overall overall experience which was like an 8 and a 9 out of 10 so I really enjoyed the experience if you do like this video just give it a like and subscribe and thanks for watching cheers to another video so this weekend I'm going to play day and I will be doing another vlog so keep your eyes peeled for the me channel